Welcome back. I am Jared Case, curator of film exhibitions at the Dryden Theater and the George Eastman Museum. It's another Nitrate Picture Show Monday, which means we're giving you a streaming recommendation based on titles that have shown previously at the Nitrate Picture Show in its first five years of existence. I should also tell you to keep your eyes peeled at Eastman.org, the George Eastman Museum website, as well as social media for both the Dryden and the Nitrate Picture Show for a special event coming up celebrating this absent Nitrate Picture Show. More details to come. Three years ago, we were able to borrow two prints from the Austrian Film Museum. They were both classic Soviet Russian films. One may not be known to uh, American audiences very well. It's called Moscow Laughs, a classic uh, musical comedy of the 1930s. The other one, more recognizable. That is Alexander Nevsky, directed by Sergei Eisenstein. And these two films, these two prints, were probably two of the youngest prints that we've actually showed because uh, nitrate film production uh, continued in Russia after 1951, which is when Kodak stopped production of the film in the United States. So while we firmly believe that the print of Moscow Laughs was actually printed in the 50s, what we know is that this print came to the Austrian Film Museum in the 1960s, and I've got the information on that here in uh, the 1960s. It was the 324th print accepted into the Austrian Film Museum, and it came from, uh, we believe it came from the Soviet Embassy in Vienna. Uh, this was a film that uh, Eisenstein made at a time of tension between uh, the Soviet Union and Germany, Nazi Germany, as we know, came out in 1938. Uh, but they had just signed a pact. However, uh, Stalin was very interested, as was Eisenstein, in um, sowing seeds of dissent with this uh, relationship between uh, the Soviets and the Germans. So what Eisenstein did was he... Uh, dramatized the attempted invasion of Novgorod back in the 12th century. And he did this with his, his own inimitable style. But it's not quite inimitable uh, because it has been imitated many times. Uh, and he took himself inspiration from uh, some other films. The battle sequence, the half-hour battle sequence at the end, has been uh, used as inspiration for many battle scenes uh, from Henry V, to Enemy at the Gates, to several others. And that uh, battle scene itself took inspiration from uh, D.W. Griffith's uh, Way Down East, which also had, this is called The Battle of the Ice, this also had, uh, which also had uh, a climax uh, on icy waters. But this half an hour Battle of the Ice that Eisenstein staged uh, took off on that. It, it was inspired by Griffith, and he wanted to do something similar along the same lines. Eisenstein himself was uh, questioning what the reception of the film was in the West, and uh, he wanted to point out himself some of the symbolism that was being missed because of the cultural differences. Um, and he actually wrote, and we put this in the Nitrate Picture Show catalog three years ago when we showed this film, and quote, in Nevsky, the white robes of the Teutonic Ritter were associated with the themes of cruelty, oppression, and death, while the color of black attached to the Russian warriors conveyed the positive themes of heroism and patriotism. This deviation from the generally accepted image for these colors would have been less surprising to the critics and press abroad, whose objections were very interesting in themselves, if they had recalled an astonishing and powerful passage of literature, which I have since found for myself, the chapter called The Whiteness of the Whale in Melville's Moby Dick. So certainly the, the continuum of cinema and literature continues as we see that Eisenstein was inspired by Melville and Griffith and who then inspired others in the way that they were making their films. So it's a wonderful film. It is uh, streaming on the Criterion channel, and you can watch that right now and then come back for another uh, streaming recommendation, and we'll give you more updates on this Nitrate Picture or So event as it comes. Thanks.